Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, we will be taking a brief look at one of the significant Christian celebrations known as Divine Mercy Sunday, which is celebrated on the second Sunday of Easter. We will take a brief look at the, the origin, the historical background and significance of this special day for Christians. You are welcome to Faith Issues. The origin of Divine Mercy Sunday can be traced back to the early 20th century when a Polish nun, uh, St. Faustina Kowalska, claimed to have visions of Jesus. Faustina, who later became a saint, recorded these visions in her diary, which revealed Jesus' message of mercy and love for humanity. The image of the Divine Mercy is a depiction of Jesus based on the visions of St. Faustina Kowalska, According to St. Faustina's diary, which she wrote down at the request of her confessor, Jesus appeared to her in a vision in 1931 and he instructed her to have an image painted according to the vision that she had. So in her diary, St. Faustina described the image of Jesus as standing with his right hand raised in blessing and his left hand touching his garment near to his heart from which emanate two rays of light one red and one pale so J jesus instructed her to have the image painted with the words i trust in you inscribed at the bottom since she was not an artist herself faustina sought the help of a local artist so she met a guy called uh, Eugene Kazimierowski to help with this image but it didn't work out. She had difficulty finding an artist who could capture the image as she had seen it in her vision. So eventually he met a guy, an artist called uh, Adolf, Adolf Hiller, who painted the image according to her descriptions. Now, the image of the Divine Mercy has since become a widely recognized and venerated image in the Catholic Church and some other Christian denominations. And it is associated with the message of God's mercy and forgiveness as revealed to St. Faustina Kowalska. Now, the original painting by Hila is currently displayed at the Shrine of Divine Mercy in Krakow, Poland. Of course, the replicas of this image can be found in churches and homes around the world. Almost everybody knows the image that is called the image of the divine uh, mercy. Now, in 2000, St. Faustina was canonized by Pope John Paul II, who also designated today the second Sunday of Easter as Divine Mercy Sunday. So this official recognition by the Catholic Church solidified the significance of Divine Mercy Sunday as um, a special day for Christians to celebrate and honor God's mercy. Since then, um, Divine Mercy Sunday has been celebrated by a Christian himself, various denominations around the world. Many churches hold special masses, devotions, and prayers on this day to reflect on God's mercy and forgiveness and to, to seek His blessings. A Divine Mercy Sunday holds great significance for Christians because it emphasizes the infinite mercy of God as revealed in Faustina. It is a day to acknowledge our sins and seek God's forgiveness and to remember that no matter how far we have strayed, God's mercy is always available to us. One of the key practices on Divine Mercy Sunday is the sacrament of our reconciliation, also known as a confession. Of course, many people before now have done novenas, gone to confessions, and many Christians take this opportunity to you know, confess their sins, to receive absolution, and experience the healing and the reconciliation power of God's mercy. Divine Mercy Sunday is not just about seeking forgiveness for our sins, 
but also about extending this mercy to others. It reminds us to be compassionate, to be forgiving, and to be merciful towards our fellow human beings, just as God is merciful toward us. It is a day to reflect on our relationships, seek reconciliation with others, and strive to, to lead a life of love and compassion. Many Christians on this day also engage in acts of mercy and kindness. And, of course, all of us are, are called upon to live out this mercy in our everyday lives, in our dealings with people, in our workplaces, in our businesses, in our families, and whatever we do, wherever we may find ourselves, let us reflect that merciful heart of God. And that, that, that's the point. We receive mercy to show mercy, and blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. And when they receive mercy, of course, they should pay it forward. Thank you so much for listening to the end. May you have a blessed Sunday. God bless you.